Welcome to a video about the absolute mess that is apartment shopping in 2022. If you don't know, there is a huge housing crisis in America. You can't really buy any houses without being outbid and now it's also really hard to get an apartment as well as apartments going up so much per month for the rent. My apartment here sent me a letter with my 60 day notice of moving out telling me how much they're upping the rent and I'm just not gonna pay that for this place. The inside of my apartment is pretty nice but the management is terrible, the outside is not good and I've had a horrible bug problem here. So I wanna get out even if I end up paying the same amount as my new rent and being in a much nicer place, then I would be down with that. Ideally, I want to move into a two bedroom apartment, but we'll see what happens. This was nice on the inside, but if you could have seen the outside, you would have said no, because it was pretty sketchy and like hard to get to. This was one of my top contenders. It was very nice. The community was really nice with like a nice pool and nice amenities. Two bedroom, huge closets. Everything was like up to date and just brand new. The only problem is that this place only had little tiny one bedrooms available and they didn't know when a two bedroom would be available. But if I could have got this place like right then and there, I would have. It was like one of my top three favorites and everything I wanted. But like I said, there was just not any two bedrooms available at the moment. I also loved this one, but kind of the same situation. There was one two bedroom available and the day that I went to apply, someone already put the deposit down. So that was really sad. Um, everything wasn't like brand new, brand new, but it gave very like homey, cozy vibes. I toured a three bedroom because it was the only one available to tour, but it gave like a good idea of what it looked like. And I did really like it. And the apartment that I was gonna get was gonna be on the third floor. So I'd have a nice balcony with some storage. And I really loved the kitchen and the wood color of the kitchen and it also had like a nice pantry. The washer and dryer were in unit in its own little room. This is actually a three bedroom, so not the one I would be getting, but this is the only one they had to show. But I was comparing the layout that I would have versus this layout. It's decently similar, and then comparing the bedroom sizes, and the master's the same size, so that's good. I just love that I would actually have light in the kitchen, and I checked my layout is kind of the same situation. If I got one here, it would also have lighting in the kitchen, and I would be able to see the TV from the kitchen because the living room would be right there, so that would be really nice. And I love extra closets. Yeah, I'd say it's super cute. This was kind of a backup plan because it was cheaper, but it was tiny. It was considered a two bedroom, but it wasn't really a two bedroom because one was like a tiny office. You can't tell because I'm filming in wide angle, but everything, like even the hallways are just so tiny. You can't stand two people next to each other in them tiny bathroom. I would just rather get a bigger, nicer one bedroom than get this tiny two bedroom. This is way up there with that like second one I toured. Absolutely in love with this one. Charlie came to look at it with me. This is a one bedroom, but it is super nice. And I would definitely be willing to get the one bedroom because this is actually a pretty big one bedroom. It's got double vanity in the bathroom. The bedroom was a really good size. The closet was massive. Like this doesn't even show how big the closet was. And I love all the windows in the bedroom. It really was just perfect. Let me show you some of the amenities. This is the gym and it is very nice. They have a cycling slash yoga studio. This is definitely the nicest apartment. We got snacks <laughs> at the apartment we toured. Yay. <laughs> and uh, Capri Sun. <laughs> well, it's actually Kool-Aid. I don't know if that's considered Capri Sun, but yeah, sorry. Super nice. Cable machine, some weights. They don't have a squat rack, which is unfortunate, but I can make it work. Yeah, this is nice. <laughs> um, could you imagine I have friends over and we just come hang out on this rooftop? It's so nice. For what reason? I could literally come tanning up here. Oh, I got shocked. At the apartment we toured, we got snacks. So I'm going to open this and have a drinky drink. Yum. I have not had a sparkling ice in so long. I don't think I've ever had the classic lemonade one either. Mm. It's really good. So after looking at a couple apartments, I just wanna jump in and tell you guys that it is impossible. It really is. Everything is so much more expensive than I thought it would be. Nowhere has any two bedrooms available. If they do, it's like now or never. And things are opening up until three, four months from now. So I'm just in such a bad predicament. Everything that I love goes off the market before I can even go to apply for it. It is just no fun. 
This apartment was one of those ones where you can self tour. So I got like an email with a code to log in and I was like, this is it. This is the one. I love this. Kind of the same vibes as where I live, but a different place. So that would be nice. I was really confused on who designed this, but that's okay. Um, come to find out these literally aren't available. I don't even know why they're touring. They're not going to be open until like late fall, early winter because they're doing full on renovations. And then I was talking to the guy and found out that the same company who owns mine owns these. So I was like, mm, yeah, don't really want to do that. But here's the rest of the tour. I mean, it was really nice. And this was a one bedroom. I would have got a two bedroom, but even this one bedroom was really big, nice big closet and big bedroom and stuff. I did really like it, but no to the management and obviously they're not available. Quick little video here. I really like these, but they were just out of my budget and I don't know why they were so much more expensive because they weren't like that much better than some of the other ones I looked at. I did like these ones. They're definitely cheaper than some of the other ones that I looked at, even for a two bedroom, which was really nice. So the price was really good for what you get, but the outside of the apartments was a little bit like mine. So not like sketchy, but just like, it seems like I'd have really rowdy neighbors. The parking was absolutely terrible, but they also don't know what's gonna be available and when it'll be available because they only do 30 day notices. So I couldn't really rely on this one, but if I had to move into this one, I would definitely be happy with it. I'm not even kidding when I say I would die to have this apartment, but they don't have any available and she doesn't think they'd have any availability until like September to October. So obviously that is past when I need to move out, but you literally get a garage and this huge kitchen, two bedroom, cheaper than any of the other two bedrooms I'd looked at just cause it's a little bit further out of town. So I'd have to drive a little further, but definitely worth it because this place is so big for what you get. Really, really nice community. I was obsessed. The fact that I get a garage and it had washer and dryers in the unit, literally would have died for this. I was obsessing over it. I walked around like 10 times cause I didn't want to leave. I was so sad when she said she didn't think anything would be available until like October. Oh, I wanted to cry. So I didn't get an actual tour. The only tour I got was of the pool, which is super nice. And the gym was really nice, but I did a virtual tour. So that's literally what you're looking at. This was a two bedroom, really good size, super nice and modern up to date. The management seemed great. The community seemed awesome. I only had one bathroom, but that's totally fine with me. I don't need to, but it seemed very rushed to be able to get these apartments. And it was just a big stressor and kind of further away. So I do still love it. I don't know, still deciding. And that is the end of my apartment search. When I moved into the apartment I'm living in now, I looked at this place and just got it. It was like no big deal. This was a nightmare. I don't even know how many places I looked at, but this is my pile of papers for all the different apartments. Cause I looked at that many different places. I did end up finding a place that I loved. I'm working on filling out the application and they have a couple open that are the one that I want. There's one with a perfect move-in date and everything. So I'm hoping to get my application in by Monday and hopefully get approved for that. So everyone, please pray for me and wish me luck on trying to get that apartment because I really want it. And it's going to be a surprise to you guys which one I get and you'll just have to see on moving day, which will be in August. So comment down below which one you would get and which one you think I got. If you're new, don't forget to hit subscribe and stay tuned for my moving series coming in August. It's gonna be so much fun, but so stressful. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.